Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I want to just respond to the analogy about the Chamber of Commerce membership or the WISE membership. If you are a member of the Y or the Chamber of Commerce, you receive goods from that, that organization. But if you want to be a member and say, I don't want to pay my membership fee anymore, but you have to keep giving me free access and free parking or let me go to the pool, whatever it is. That's what you're asking the unions to do, to, to supervise or to represent and, and protect people, offer them benefits of, you know, negotiated the healthcare benefits, and do it without a member paying. That's why it's called fair share. And you want to take that away. And and I'm I'm sorry, I just want to say I have a lot of uh, GM workers in my district and I have never seen more competitive and dedicated men and women. And I just have to say that I think that having a good job, good pay, and having their kids in good schools and having a safe workplace does make you competitive and does make you a better employee. Representative Brinkman, that was not a question. You have no need to answer that. <laughs> Thank you. That concludes our uh, first hearing on uh, House Bill 377. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'd like to call House Bill 236. This is our fourth hearing on House Bill 37.